specifically loss of lumbar lordosis appears to be a significant risk factor in the development of pelvic organ prolapse. Okay, so losing your lumbar curve, all right? So let's take a look at this. Um, all right, so this is butt tucked under, glutes clenched posture, flat back, no lumbar curve. All right, so that is what setting up your system for pelvic organ prolapse would look like. This is a neutral curve, all right, a nice small curve. Glutes unclenched, belly not hanging out, ribs not super flaring, all looks good. And this is that excessive anterior tilt where she's hanging forward, um, which is also not good for lots of other reasons. But for particularly the pelvic organ prolapse, you want to make sure you do not clench your glutes. All right, so we'll go into that a little more later. All right, so what happens, so what does having great glutes uh, mean to preserving our lumbar, lumbar curve mean to our pelvic floor? All right, so basically why do we need great glutes for a lumbar curve? So we know that lumbar curve positioning affects our pelvic floor, right? We cannot lose our lumbar curve. This is detrimental to our pelvic floors. So this is something I've treated chronic back pain for years and years and years since I started practice. And getting an optimal lumbar curve is one of my main techniques for getting people out of pain. And the reason why is because it changes your whole entire pelvic positioning. And when your pelvic positioning changes, it changes the entire position of how the muscles are coming in and attaching to your pelvis which is changing how they fire. So they're either supporting you or they're not supporting you. All right, so let's take a look at what this looks like. So when we have our pelvis here, okay? So if this is the back and this is the front, all right, this is normal posture, okay? Now let's take a look at what that looks like on the inside. All right, there's not a giant hole there. Okay, I'll come back and show you again in a second. So normal posture. When we tuck our butts under, all right, and we flatten our lumbar curves and tuck our butts under, what happens to that pelvic opening? It opens up, all right? So let's do that again. Great lumbar curve. I've got my nice lumbar curve. My back is supported. Everybody's happy. My glutes are unclenched. Gravity is not winning. Okay, gravity is not winning. Nature knew what it was doing here. All right, we tuck our butts under, okay, clench our glutes, flatten our lumbar spine, and all of a sudden we've got this giant pelvic opening. All right, so gravity's gonna win there. All right, so when you look at pelvic organ prolapse and you look at that butt tucked under position, that is a lot of gravity and force pushing down through the pelvis really making that a pretty bad setup, okay? So that is why it is so important for us to preserve our lumbar curves and not tuck our butts under because the angle that it sets up the pelvic floor for either success or failure is dependent upon it. 